what I do <clears throat> is I have a base plate this is eight inches by eight inches square by quarter inch thick aluminum and uh, I put one under each uh, foot of the tripod whatever one I'm using this gives a good base uh, for stability then I have smaller shims that I use this will work with uh, I've got an ATS and I've got the Astrophysics Ego and this works great for them these shims would be too small for a last Mandy you'd have to just get a bigger piece of aluminum to match the uh, leg diameter these two are three by three this one is four inches by inch and a half wide what I've done is I've stamped on each corner a two and I've got nine of each of these sizes so I've stamped a two on here that stands for two sixteenths of an inch which is one eighth and this one I have stamped in each corner a three which is three sixteenths inch thick just for quick identification if I've got them mixed up in a box I can just pull those out and what I have is nine of these and nine of these this is and I didn't stamp this because there's no issue uh, knowing what this is this is a 16th inch thick by four inches long and then this is what I'll use if I need to tweak it so that works out very well I also have three by threes in quarter inch that I had uh, made but I actually find that I've never used them that what I have available in the eighth three sixteenths and then the sixteenth inch for final shimmy has always worked well for me when I do this I will put my right ascension and deck axis on and use the uh, bubble level that comes with those to level the mount and um, I don't put on the counterweights because uh, it would get way too heavy to try to pick this thing up because if I've got my 175 on there and I've got uh, depending on if I'm going to use a two scope setup or just the one you're going to have a lot of weight and to be able to pick it up and shim it is just going to be it's going to be very hard if, if impossible to do now I've never had a problem by just putting the right ascension and deck axis on and uh, shimming it level uh, when I put the counterweight shaft on I mean I, I will put the counterweight shaft I've done that but I don't do any weights and I don't put any scope equipment on I've just never ran into an issue that way and I always double check it and uh, obviously uh, if you're on solid ground it's not sandy I've never ran into that yet to where that would be an issue for me now 8 by 8 inch square works great for me depending on what you have you could always modify that bigger or smaller but I wouldn't go too small you want to have a nice base on the ground for stability okay so this is how I start out when I go to level my tripod uh, this particular one is a 12 inch ATS but I'll put the right ascension and deck axis on then I'll put the four eight by eight inch by quarter inch thick pieces at the ends of the feet that gives it a good sp spread spreads the weight out and then I just start shimming now in this particular case if we take a look at the bubble here it's really good east and west is 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 damn near perfect level and it's off just a hair uh, the north south line just a hair so 
then it's just a matter of to get it to that point what shims do I need and actually looking at that bubble in the north south line it's right on now today with the way I put set this up and where I set it in my yard there was no shim required on the southwest leg on the south on the southeast leg I see that I put two one eighth inch shims and then one sixteenth inch thick shim we go now to the north leg did the same thing got two eighth inch shims and one sixteenth inch shim and a lot of times the way this works it just depends which one I grab whether it's a one eighth or three sixteenths uh, like I said today I just happened to grab that and so that's how I do it I just prefer not to use the turnbuckles. I always keep these turned in all, all the way so they're at the shortest distance and by shimming uh, I don't know I just find it easier because if I've got this out the other one then I got to turn them all back in like I said this I, I believe this to be for me quick. Once I have it to this point I will then put whatever telescope I'm using for the evening and I have found that I never have a problem with the uh, changing pretty much it stays I've never really had to shim one side or another